Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Sustainability Time podcast. We're your hosts, Chloe and Sky, um, and we want to welcome you to today's podcast. We first want to acknowledge the lands that we're working off of today. Um, so we're currently located um, at Uvic on the traditional lands of the Lekwungen speaking peoples, um, who are the Songhe currently are the Songhees and Esquimalt peoples, um, and the land that the five Wasanich nations, Sayout, Sartlip, Sakum, Malahat, and Paquichin nations, um, whom have stewarded the land since time immemorial. Um, we are currently residing here as uninvited guests, um, and we're super honored to work on these lands. Yeah, great. Thank you, Sky. Um, today, we are joined by a special guest, Sarah Burton, who is a third-year geography environmental studies student who just loves the holidays. I do. Christmas <laughs> is great. Hanukkah is great. The holiday season's great. A perfect time. I love it. Amazing. It's a joyous time. <laughs> Incredible. Um, today, we are going to get into some sustainability hacks, traditions, some practices that we all do on the holidays, and... Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. Should we start with a big question that everybody runs into? Yes. Real tree, fake tree. What's better? What's a better choice? What should I choose this year <laughs> now that I have a house to live in by myself? Exactly. Um, so in the past, what have we all done? Um, Sky? Yeah, I mean, I've always had a fake tree and then no tree. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, broke college Maybe. student. True, that's <laughs> yeah, real. Tree. Yeah, really. Tree. Yeah, yeah. Growing up, I always had a real tree. I know <laughs> it was pretty great, but now that I'm in university, I kind of have a tiny little dollar store, dollar store <laughs> fake tree that my sibling gave me. Cute. Yeah. Okay. Put a little like red bulb on it. it can be yeah, it's giving Charlie Grinch. Brown. It's giving Grinch. Even. It's giving Grinch tree. Charlie Brown Charlie Christmas Brown. tree. Yeah. <laughs> Ones. Yeah, yeah. Throughout my whole life, fake tree. Although one year, one year, it was the transition year. We had had our fake tree for years, falling apart. We got rid of it, and my parents hadn't gotten a new one. So they were like, this is the year, guys. We're getting a real tree. Okay. And it was quite the upkeep, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. How long did your fake tree last? About a month. My parents are a strong. real tree or your fake tree? Oh, oh, you said... F I did say fake tree. Fake tree. Oh, my goodness. Fake tree lasted, like, 12 years. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. so that's hey. a... Yeah. They last. They do. Yeah. Yeah, yours? Like, 20 years. There we Damn. go. Damn, okay. Yeah, we're still using the same one that they use. Wow. Okay. That's that a process. Sense. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's a that's a pro for fake tree. It is. Lasts it is. forever. However, parents had to store it which consisted in, like, our rafters in our garage. So okay. kind of a pain to get down every year. True. Um, Better than going into the forest with an axe. But I was going to say, doesn't that create, like, such a tradition to, like, do that every year with the family? Yeah. Honestly, my family never did the full, like, we're going to go trudge through the woods <laughs> and cut down our own tree. Right. Uh, my school would do, like, the grad class would have a Christmas tree sale every year to raise mm. money for their grad gift for the school because that was a tradition. So, like, my family always just bought our tree from our school. Okay. So that was an interesting thing. Okay. But I don't know. Fair enough. The nice thing about fake ones now is that you can buy them pre-lit. Yeah. So you don't have to string around the stupid Christmas lights. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, truly it a forever. pain. Yeah. yeah. Truly a pain. Yeah. 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 Okay, so pros and cons to both. Real trees. Real trees. You got that traditional age old, <laughs> eons old, yeah. bringing that Yuletide cheer <laughs> inside. Uh, right. If you're going out to the forest with your family, it's like family bonding. Exactly. Yeah. Tradition. Definitely. Activity. Cons, deforestation. <laughs> <laughs> Being the main one. <laughs> True. Yeah. But also, I mean, the the materials that would be used to make fake ones. So, yeah. you know, yeah. you're also exploiting natural resources that way. So, yeah. either way. Um, I guess another pro to the real tree is that natural pine scent you've got wafting <sighs> through your home in the season. Honestly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't know how strong that is. I was going to say, how long does that really last, though? Like, if your tree's alive... <laughs> I think it's still there, but, like, I don't really 
notice it that much because it's okay. been so long. Like, it's not like I get home from the day and I'm like, oh, yeah, my house smells like pine. Okay. I don't think it's that strong of a scent. That's right. Um, okay. Easy at the end of the season to get rid of recycling there things is. going on. I feel like yeah. there's, like, people that will come pick up your tree for you. Yeah. I know my, like, old boss used to have, like, a Christmas tree burning party Ooh, okay. <laughs> in their neighborhood and they invite all their neighbors over to have a big, like, bonfire and burn all their trees, which is, like, carbon emissions. Yeah. But... Awesome. Traditions. Uh, Community building. I that, don't know. Okay. But, like, that's a thing people right. do. And you don't have to store it. You don't have to store it. Fake trees take up space. Yeah. Although affordable in the long run. Right. Because I don't know. What does a fake tree cost? A couple hundred bucks? Well, I mean, it depends. There's such a different caliber of trees you can get. You can get trees. You can get You can get thrifted fake trees. This is true. And that, that would be a top tier way to do it. Exactly. Like 20 bucks. Pretty great. Depending on what tree is there yeah um definitely a gamble sometimes we when we were to get our new tree we went thrifting for trees first just because new trees can range like you go to costco and a good size tree is going to range you like 350 400 bucks okay a new live tree probably going to run 80 to 140 bucks yeah and then you just store the stand you keep it in every year yeah exactly so if you're going to have a tree up every year Maybe a reusable tree is more affordable for you in the long run if you're mm-hmm. able to make that, I guess, investment yeah. into your holiday cheer. Well, exactly. But you have to have a way to store it. If yeah. I had a full-size tree at Christmas in my house, yeah. I am a student. I do not have access no. to my storage that no. is in the house I live because that is my landlord's. <laughs> Fair enough. So that's, yeah. I guess, a limitation. Okay. A barrier. Yeah. Um, um, no fire risk. <laughs> Associated with fake trees, or at least less, because they are plastic. So, Melting. Yeah. But, like, I've never heard of that, especially with LEDs these mm-hmm. days. They're not making heat in the same way. Exactly, exactly. So um, all of the research done prior to this is what I found, fake trees having less of a risk for fires. Interesting. Um, and, like, honestly, every year around the, like, Christmas season, I would always see, like, warnings to make huh. sure that you had your lights off at night. And to, on your tree. Yeah, on your yeah. real tree. So like that. Hmm. So I didn't know I've been living in danger all these years. <laughs> <laughs> living in bliss. Um, all right, well, <sighs> moving on to we go. wrapping yeah. up gifts and giving gifts to people. Yeah. Right, yeah, so this is like a big one. I think in a lot of cultures, whether that's Christmas, Hanukkah, you receive and give gifts. And I think it shows a lot of how much time and effort you are able to put into making a gift for that special person um, reflects just like how much you know about them. And in like my views, I hate giving gifts because you have to give gifts on holidays. Yeah, I don't like giving gifts just for the sake of a gift. Exactly, exactly. I want it to be something people can use and really show just how much like you mean to them. Yeah. And so I think that should reflect even in what you wrap. True. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wrapping paper and like those plastic ribbons and mm-hmm. all of that, mm-hmm. like most of it not recycled. No. Most of it just gets torn open. People are so excited with the thrill of a gift, they're just ripping it open. And then that wrapping paper at the end of the day just goes into the landfill. Um, no. So I guess like the first step to preventing that Mm -hmm. is if somebody is giving you a gift because naturally you can't control what somebody wraps your gift with um do your best to like keep it from tearing save it and reuse it reduce reuse recycle beautiful said yeah yeah i don't know how everyone's like more like afternoons after their morning wraps goes but my family will collect it all up put it in trash bags usually sits in our garage for like a couple weeks until like we can like shove it in the garbage um, or bags and tissue paper. My family does collect those and uses them for birthdays, other holidays. But a lot of people don't know is a lot of wrapping people can be recycled. Mm-hmm. You need to remove the tape though. Yeah, you need to remove the tape. And some mm. of the ones have like a weird tinny finish to them. And yeah. I don't know if those ones some are recycled. Yeah. 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 That you can't recycle some if you're using like cardboard wrapping paper mm-hmm. you can 
decompose. Oh. But not, you can't then put it in like a plastic bag. Yeah. To, to decompose. So that's the problem with most of it. But if you're just using like mm-hmm. the cardboard based wrapping paper, a lot of it is compostable, especially stuff they're making now. Yeah. So I had a friend off. who would always buy those rolls of like the brown paper yes. and just had stamps. So if it was like a birthday, they'd stamp the paper with birthday stamps or would draw on it. Mm -hmm. And then if it was like a Christmas, they'd do like trees or like something to make it themed that way. But otherwise, it was just the brown base paper. And that's paper recyclable, probably compostable, although I haven't looked into it. It is. I don't know if it's compostable. It only depends on your region. I probably actually... I do have the brown paper because, honestly, it's so cute. Getting to decorate it for the theme of the event Mm -hmm. and also, like, having a fun ribbon attached that I have, like, this, like, um, wood yarn to tie around. I'm planning on making little ornaments this year to put in on that. Just, like, you know, you can can fancify it yourself. Yeah. And I want to circle back to what you were saying, like, the Mm -hmm. morning after everyone's opened all their gifts. Yeah. My family literally sits in that living room and we cut all the torn edges off. All the paper, keep the ones that we can be saved, and then we put it in a big plastic bin that lives under my parents' bed all year. So the next year when you go to wrap, if you have, like, something small that you need to wrap, you can go into the stuff from the past years. There's wrapping paper in my house that has been used since I was a baby. My parents bought, like, Sarah-themed wrapping paper. (laughs) Like, the year I was born, there's still tiny squares of it, and people are, like, fighting to get that wrapping paper to use for the gifts. And there's ones for my siblings, too. So, like, we go through and we save as much of that as we can. Some of it we roll around, like, other things, but just store it under the bed so you have smaller squares that are pre-cut and makes wrapping easier the next year. We'll also do it with ribbon. Um, My mom makes jam, so she'll cut the ribbon into, like, this specific length and then keeps that so whenever she makes jam and gifts it to people she has ribbons to tie around that she's not cutting fresh every time wow so good that's so smart i'd never think of that yeah so we just like cut off all those torn edges off all the wrapping paper and keep as much as it as we keep as much of it as we can it's great i know what i'm doing this year and then we don't have to buy (laughs) wrapping paper every year literally (laughs) it's so expensive these days wow and, like, I guess as, like, we grow up, the paper is becoming less and less ripped. Like, as a kid, I was, like, yeah. you know, absolutely obliterated. Yeah. But, like, now I'm, like, you know, go along the edges, find the tape. Like. It's so funny. My dad will be, like, oh, I can't do this. He'll, like, wander off into our house, come back with an X-Acto knife. <laughs> and he'll be, like, cutting the tape perfectly so he doesn't have to tear the paper. Right. And it's so good. It's so funny. But oh. no paper. What's no the solution paper. from there? There we go. There is also the option, if needed, if you don't have enough paper from saving it from the year prior. Um, thrift stores often sell wrapping paper that people bring in that they don't use. Right. So you can buy used wrapping paper at thrift stores. There we go. Yeah, which is another option if you're into just more like the, yeah, using fun prints. Yeah. For and people in your, in your life. Yeah. And while you're at the thrift store, I mean, recycled fabric. Oh, my gosh. Way. Yeah. Buy old curtains, buy old sheets, yeah. cut it into squares. Scarves, handkerchiefs, tea towels, tea towels. napkins. Yeah, so um, many things. So many things. Lush actually does that every year. So yeah. if you go to Lush, they'll like wrap all your stuff in like a handkerchief. Awesome. And, like it's like a little bag that you can take. That's cute. really adorable. My sister started doing this a couple of years ago. She got really into quilting and crafting with fabrics. So she like made a couple like nice holiday and birthday themed squares of fabric that she'll like wrap your gift in she'll tie it in a nice fancy knot on top and then when she gives it to you she's like hey do you want to keep this piece of fabric and continue to use it when you gift things to people and if you're like yeah she's like sweet it's yours part of your gift if you're like i probably won't use it i don't give people gifts she's like okay give it back to me i'm gonna keep using it and that's really that's literally definition of reduce reuse recycle like it's just so nice. It's so easy, too. Yeah. It's just, like, tied in a knot. You don't have to deal with tape, folding yeah. edges, crisp paper Dealing with corners. the garbage afterwards. Yeah. That's true. Amazing. Okay, so apart from all of that, there are more options, though. Saving boxes throughout the year if you are mm-hmm. doing any kind of online shopping or anything that's mm-hmm. gifted in boxes to you. Just collapse them. Keep them in a stored place if you it's can. It's a great prank, too. Give someone a gift, like, something... A Mm t-shirt in, like, an old laptop box. Oh, yes. They go, oh, my gosh, I got a laptop. No. 
They got a t-shirt. A sick, amazing, wonderful t-shirt. Yes. yes. It's a fun prank. I do this to my family all the time. (laughs) Incredible. Yeah. Um, Other than that, old maps. Old maps. Family had an atlas lying around last year. Took that apart, and that's what I used for half of the wrapping. As a geographer, that would I know literally make my day. Two geog students, yeah. Right yeah. Here. <laughs> I would Nerding actually be <laughs> if I got a good. gift in a map. The map is the gift. No, right, right. <laughs> and I save didn't the map. Yeah. save the map, and then I'm gonna be so careful with it. Cause I didn't cut it at all. I like folded it oh. to like make it. So if they did want to use the map, they could unfold it completely. That's pretty incredible. Frame that. Yeah. Put yeah. it on the wall. I think, well, I mean, I don't know. It was like Arkansas. And oh. Like, <laughs> like that. Like maybe not like real good ones. That's true. <laughs> okay. We got reusing your old wrapping paper. Yes. We've got brown paper. We've got fabric. We've got maps. Jars. Jars. While you're at the thrift store, pick up some jars. Or eat some jam. <laughs> I don't know. Uh-huh. Eat yeah. some pickles. That. Oh my God, yeah. Pickles yeah. come eat in some pickles. pretty big jars. Ooh, this is true. Eat some pickles. Eat some pickles. Baskets, thrift store. Thrift some baskets. Oh, there are so many baskets at the thrift store. So many. Like right after Easter, people just give them away. True. Just, oh, okay. Little any receptacles. Ribbons. Yeah. And you can totally decorate any one of these by drawing on them, by decorating them with like ribbons or bows and stuff like that. Stuff that is bows and ribbons you can still use year after year yeah reuse that yeah okay so now we know about trees yep and we know how to wrap our gifts what about the gifts themselves the gifts themselves now we got quite a hefty list because we are all just so passionate about the holidays i think yeah we just who i mean holidays are good times holidays are great times so we're gonna sprint through this a little bit we're gonna run it's gonna be a little list yeah okay so stay with us (laughs) keep up if you don't know what to get your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, aunts, anyone, uncle, aunts, grandparents, uncle, grandparents, boyfriend, dog. girlfriend, dog, yeah, dog, mm. that like weird second cousin who's <laughs> coming for the first time, and you've actually <laughs> never met them, but your family's like, you have to give this person a gift this yeah. year. If Here you don't know are. what to go, listen up. Yeah, let's go. Well, maybe we can talk about how we do give gifts first. True. So, in my family, which I think your family does too, yeah, Secret Santa. Yeah, Secret Santa. We don't actually do it with our, or in my family, we don't do it in our immediate family. It's like I still get both my siblings' gifts and my parents' gifts. But with our extended family, we've recently started doing a Secret Santa because that way, instead of getting 10 people a $5 gift that doesn't mean anything, is super impersonal, cheap, they probably don't want, probably won't use, will probably just sit in their closet for a long time. We've done it, so now I'm in charge of a gift for one person, and we set that budget, yeah. whatever it is. I think this year it's like 40 bucks. Nice. Yeah. And then I can go and spend that whole dollar amount on that one person and think of a good gift for them exactly. that they actually want and will actually use. And then every year it's going to change so yeah. that you're shaping it out however they are wise. And then also with my family, we do the exact same thing, and then we also make sure that we don't get like the immediate family, yeah. so moms, dads. Sisters, yes. brothers. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then it's just like, and then it's fun to guess, too, because we'll have our family Christmas dinner, mm-hmm. and then it's like, oh, I'm opening this. Who gave it to me? Who would give me this? Yeah. And sometimes it's a very practical gift, and you're like, oh, Uncle David gave me this because <laughs> this is from Costco, and we know that's where he loves to shop. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that's what we also do with our bigger family. Sky, what are what do you do? We do the same thing. Really? Yeah. Awesome. The fun thing with Secret Santa is you can see how many people actually don't know who got them gifts and how many people figured it out along the way with, like, True. little snide asking. you got to be sneaky want. with the asking because yeah. sometimes you just have no idea what somebody what, wants. What happens is my mom, so we always do the name pulling on Thanksgiving because that's oh. just when all the families together. So my mom will go around and she will get a list of three things that everybody wants. And she'll attach it to their names. And so whoever picks it, you get an idea. That's so smart. (laughs) Right? Because, like, I got my grandpa this year, and I love my grandpa. But the man has everything. He's lived a life. He's lived a life. (laughs) And I just, I like we were saying at the beginning, I want to give him something he's going to use. Something he's going to cherish. And so, yeah, just things like that to help us out. Super helpful. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, moving into these items then. 
of what we're going to get them for our Secret Santa, we can start with homemade ornaments. Homemade. Yeah. Yeah. Anything homemade. It, anything homemade, actually. Yeah. Which can consist of so many things. We have homemade vanilla extract down here, jams, preserves. You have shrinky dinks. Can you please tell me <laughs> what <Yes>. that is? <laughs> I think you should elaborate on that one. Okay. Yeah. So my mom introduced me when I was a really little kid, and it's made out of polystyrene, which is a type of plastic, mind you. Okay. However, it's this big sheet of plastic that you can draw on. You can sandwich, like, um, things in between. So okay. if you have, like, a butterfly, you can, like, preserve oh, it. Oh, is it when you put it in the oven and it and shrinks? It shrinks. Oh, exactly. Okay, I used to make bookmarks yes, like that as a yes. child. Oh, my gosh. And they're, it's so cool, especially if you have little kids. This is a big hit, and you can write, you know, Christmas 2023 on it. Oh and it's gosh. just so momentous. Make some ornaments that way. Exactly. Make some just, like, gift like, I don't know, gift basket things? Yeah, literally anything. The, like, name, the name places yes. for your d- Christmas oh, table? that would be cute. For your dinner table? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Ooh. Yes. And, and the fun is. thing, too, is that if you are living away from your family, for university, like we are, yeah. um, you could even collect little native plants in your area, <gasps> take them back, preserve them, and then give them out to your family. I did see this. This is so cute. I saw someone preserving, I think it was, like, fall leaves. Oh. And they cut triangles out of wax paper and then ironed it so that the wax paper sort of sealed the, like, flattened leaves in. Mm. And they made a little banner. And you could yes. definitely do that for holiday decor. Oh, for this sure. This is off topic to the part we're in now. <laughs> but, like, really? or gift somebody a little garland of little yeah. foliage because oh, we, love, we love outside. <laughs> so apart from Shrinky Dinks, we also have bottle caps on there. It could be really cute. Punch a little hole. Yeah. Up there, we also have air dry clay. If you have been on social media, or at least my end of social media, there is so many videos of air dry clay coming out, which you can get at Michael's, Walmart, and it's really easy, really multiple stuff. You can make yeah. anything you want out of it. Make anything. Yeah. Picture frames. Oh my gosh. Picture frames. Wow. I'm making my friend a little tic tac toe board. <gasps> Cute. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. I saw someone make like a chess board with that too. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can buy, like, glaze, so, like, paint on glaze or, like, spray on glaze. I mean, yeah. how cute. Like, awesome. Yeah. So many tutorials yeah. on YouTube. We got okay. those sorts of things. You can print good photos. If you did something with this person mm-hmm. throughout the year, print a good photo. People don't print photos no, as much No, never. I don't have a printer. Yeah. I mm-hmm. can't print photos. I get you. Mm-hmm. You can thrift a frame. You can buy a new picture frame. You can get inherit one. Yeah. I don't know. And you can put a good photo in, decorate it. Yeah. I would love pictures of my family yeah. in my house. Great ideas. Um, bring if you don't have photos, pressed flowers yeah. back on our foliage game. Yeah. I don't know. So much to do. And now if you're not into someone who's like really artsy, but you love the bake. You, you love food. Love Good tasting. This yeah. time of year is so all great. about the food. It's all about the food. Sky, take it away. What do we got here? I was just going to say, I don't know if this is stereotypical to <laughs> older white males. <laughs> um, but I feel like when they say they have everything, a lot of the time they do have everything that they need or that they want. Right. Except for Christmas baking. This yes. is true. If you make them food, mm-hmm. they will honestly most likely appreciate that more than a physical gift. Yeah. It's true. It shows that you've put time into it and work. And, and I don't know a single old recipe. white man who doesn't love a good Christmas cookie. Right? Yeah. Those sugar cookies? Mm. Those, ooh, oh, ginger snaps? Christmas. They eat that up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're also good for anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> of course. I mean, you know, of course. If fine. anyone has extra cookies lying around, bring them over. Bring yeah. Them for later. Oh, that too. Yeah. Maybe somebody's yeah. not a sweet tooth, though. Right. And if they're not, we got dry soups. Dry Great soups. recipes online. You just oh stack ingredients in a jar, in a attach jar. a little cute recipe label onto them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect gift. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, I put that in my pantry. Actually, exactly. it wouldn't even make it to my pantry. I would eat it immediately. <laughs> right? Soup is gone in my house. It doesn't last. Oh, I feel you. Yeah. So just like making a homemade cookbook. Yeah. Like recipes that you like or recipes that are That's adorable. circulated throughout your family or that you've 
your parents have made all your life that your grandparents made. That's so good. Giving out those gifts. My my grandma actually did that a few years back. Oh. She just compiled a bunch of recipes from all of us and put them in a book and then gave them out as our Christmas gifts. That's so cute. That's actually That's so super cute. handy. Yeah. yeah. Oh Especially as like a college student. Yeah. When you don't know what to make because you're however many kilometers away <laughs> from your family. Yeah. You just open that up and you yeah. a bit of home and family right recipes are so Super like so much joy bringing. Um, um, hot chocolate, yeah, in a mug. Go thrift a great mug. And Find the greatest, perfectest mug of all time. Yes, hot chocolate gift right Bulk there. Bulk barn. Bulk barn's got marshmallows. Bulk barn. So many hot chocolates. You can get also, chocolate chips like that for like a white elephant or Secret Santa for someone you don't know very much who yeah. doesn't love yeah. hot chocolate. Mind. If someone can't true. eat dairy. It's vegan. This is true. That, yes. Or vegan. Or as other dietary needs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But like teas. That you can do like an apple teas cider. Ooh, or you can just shove a cider. jar full of tea bags. Yes. Great. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, um, knitting. Crochet. Knitting. Crocheting. If you're are seeing that way mending of sorts. Yes. Mm. If you know somebody mm-hmm. has like an old sweater or something yep. that needs mending... They haven't gotten around to it, and you have the skill. Yeah, little certificate. Be yeah. like, I'm amend your thing. Give yeah. it to me, and I'll fix it for you. Get a tote bag. Put some little flowers on the handle. Embroider. Embroider. <gasps> mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Moving on, we got handmade soaps. Yeah. Yeah. Handmade soap. Handmade candle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice one. Yep. And if you don't have the time to make a, a homemade gift, because they can take a while and they can take a lot of thought and moving around, maybe you don't have a car. So you can't get to all these places as easily to get all the different materials that you need. Um, it's great to shop local. If yeah, you can definitely. As your next step, especially in the markets. Yeah. Who doesn't love a good market day? Yeah, there's some great markets that are coming up in Victoria. There's the Moss Street Holiday Market that's coming up on the 9th and 10th of December at the Fairfield Gonzalez Community Association Building Ooh. from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you're interested in shopping local for some Christmas gifts for people, I will be there. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. exam too. season is like right up until Christmas, oh, yeah. right? And a lot of the time, it just time just gets away from us, and it's mm-hmm. it's hard to find the time to oh, definitely. really put effort into a homemade gift. And so this is a good option. You just utilize right. somebody or else locally. that had the time to make a homemade <laughs> gift. <laughs> yeah. Support local you businesses. Like support yeah. local businesses. Sure. Um, yeah, and there's a bunch of like businesses in whatever city your your hometown is, or here in Victoria. Oh yeah. Um, we've got Evercoast Handmade. Doing some reusable food bags. Yes, yeah. Mira beans, doing mm-hmm. up- upcycled clothing. They make toques. Mm-hmm. And yeah. these ones we just found on a website called mustbevictoria.com. There we go. Where you can shop a bunch of local businesses here in, in the greater Victoria area. And so you can just browse through there and find whichever ones you want. Yeah. yeah. They've got stuff for everyone on there. No, it's, it's great. Yeah, and we will have everything linked in our bio. So definitely anything that we've listed in this um, podcast, yeah. go down yeah. to the bio and you can just click away. Exactly. If you're like super last minute, yeah. a plant, if you're a plant person, <sighs> yes. like I've got plants in my house mm-hmm. right now as you're listening to this, go take a few cuttings, yeah. start their propagations. Yeah. Last minute, oh no, I don't know what to give this person. Here, have this plant. I started it for you. Literally, yeah. just put it in your window and water exactly. it every once in a while. Exactly. Oh my gosh, no, that would bring perfect. me so much joy. It's great. Um, yeah, we got, and then you can also, now if gifting a physical item is not for you, you can donate to a charity of your choice. As yeah. in gifting the person the ability to donate the money that you would have to a charity. Yeah. Donate in their name mm-hmm. for them. Exactly. Yeah. Um, lots or of... just experiences. If you don't want to, like, this person truly has everything. Yes. Truly. Be like, okay, we're going to go to the movies. Yeah. We're going to go to a spa. Yeah. On me. We're going to go have a really lovely dinner. Yeah. We're going to go do a pasta making, pizza making, exactly. workshop, and do this really fun, awesome thing together and become best friends. Yeah. I do. I also noticed that someone, so we're, right now we're kind of just reading off of a doc of like lists of stuff that we've compiled. I know someone put a tattoo gift card on here. Oh. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Cool. yeah. Don't yeah. give that oh, to yeah. my mom, yeah. though. Never thought <laughs> my parents that. give me tattoo gift cards, oh, and I give them so tattoo cards. I would love your parents. I never thought of that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, also, like, you can do a parks pass. 
Parks passes are a little a little expensive, but so well utilized. Yeah, and something my siblings and I do, if they're like, my dad would love this thing, not in my budget, do we want to all come together and give this thing to my dad together? So it becomes more affordable for us, but we get him something he's actually going to want and use. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's perfect. Also, like, package your own gift experience for this person, their homebody. They don't like going outside. It's cold. It's snowing. It's raining. Yeah. Not about it. Yeah. Fuzzy socks. A book. At home spa, you could do a reading little package, a picnic basket. You can do movie nights. like Self-care box. Like a perfect little rainy day moment. Yeah. So good. So, so many gift ideas. So, so many options. Hopefully that this podcast has given you some. Yeah. yeah. I have, like, one super quick one to add on. To oh, there. please do. Do it. students out here, since this is more like a university-based podcast here, um, Costco memberships. Oh! Oh, my gosh. To pay your Costco membership fee for you for that year, you'll or, get so much use out of it. Yeah. Or, like, get, ask for, like, flex funds for your oh, UVic right. thing. And then yeah. if you're, like, I'm so stressed today, exam, I don't have time to pack my lunch this morning. And then you feel less sad about buying lunch on campus or just yeah. getting a little treat at yeah. like the Biblio yeah. Cafe. A little scone. A little pumpkin scone. scone. Pumpkin scone. Cranberry orange Feed scone. The so Feed the snail. Feed the snail in you your mind. don't know Give what we're talking treat. about, that's for another day. <laughs> yeah. That could be <laughs> a whole podcast. It could be. Okay. I think that's Holidays. it. Holidays. So good. Yeah. Holidays indeed. Yeah. If you have more questions, let us know. Yeah. We have all of our social medias will also be linked below. So please feel free to reach out. Sarah is in charge of our Instagram account. So is Sky. So is Sky. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> Sky and Sarah are in charge of the Instagram accounts. Um, so please feel free to reach out. Yeah. And Otherwise, Wednesday we at 6 p.m. in the basement of the sub. We got cookies, we got tea, Mm -hmm. we've got hot chocolate, we've got great folks, and we do cool things, Mm -hmm. I think. Very good community, great time. Got some events coming up? Yeah. Lots of events. Can I think of which ones? I think we're doing a movie night in December. We are doing a movie night. Yeah. Stay tuned for next semester where we'll be doing a botanical beach. Yeah, we're going to go to the botanical beach. We're going to have movie nights again. We're we have, maybe going to go climbing. Yeah. Sustainable recreation campaign. We just, we have so much on the go all the time, 24-7. Follow us on Instagram. That. <laughs> yeah. All the updates will be on Instagram. So with that, I think we got to wrap up. We do. Yeah. Sweet. Let's wrap it up. Thank you for joining us. If you stuck till the end, it's been great. Thanks for listening. We've had a great yeah. time here today, I hope. Everybody. I think so. Amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Great. Putting me in the holiday cheer a few months early. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one will be out around the first. So awesome. stay tuned to that. And uh, yeah, until yeah. next time. Thanks Sweet. for having me. Bye. 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 <laughs>